Good day, grade tens. Welcome to yet another exciting lesson of business studies. Today we are going to look at our topic that says criteria for successful team performance. But today we are going to look at the practice and applications questions. Without, I, without me forgetting, I am your tutor for today. I go by the name of Miss Noctula Zulu. And without wasting your time, let's just get straight into it. Our first practice question says, read the scenario below and answer the questions that follow. Guguletu Trading. The management of Guguletu Trading held an annual general meeting with all employees. The meeting focused on planning for 2024 and 2025. Clear objectives of the business were outlined. Management respected employees' knowledge and skills. Charlie one of the supervisors never delegates tasks to younger team members because he believes that younger people do not have enough experience. Let us look at our question. Identify two criteria for successful team performance from the scenario above. Motivate your answer by quoting from the scenario. Use the table below as the guide to answer this question. Now let us go back to our scenario. The management of Google of Google to Trading held an annual general meeting with all employees. So obviously, this is just a statement. They are informing us what Google to Trading had done, which is holding an annual general meeting with employees. We are looking for criteria for successful team performance. The meeting focused on planning for 2024 and 2025. Clear objectives of the business were outlined. So obviously with this sentence that says the meeting focused on planning for 2024 and 2025, clear objectives of their business were outlined. So this sentence alone, it tells us about the clear objectives and agreed goals. So when you quote, you need to take the sentence from the beginning up until the end so that the sentence does not lose its meaning. So here's our correct answer, which is clear objectives and agreed goals. You take the sentence from the beginning up until the end. We continue because the question said we need to identify two criteria for successful teams. Management respected employees' knowledge and skills. Management respected the employees' knowledge and skills. Let us continue. We are going to come back to this one. Charlie, one of the supervisors, never delegates tasks to younger team members because he believes that younger people do not have enough experience. Mm -hmm. So obviously we are not going to need this sentence, but the previous one that says management respected employees' knowledge and skills, it has to do with what? With mutual trust, respect, as well as support. And do not forget again that you have to code the sentence from the beginning up until the end so that you are not going to lose marks. So the criteria there is mutual respect, support, and trust. Then we quote the sentence from the beginning up until the end. Before we move on to our application questions, let us just go for a quick ad break and we will be back. See you shortly.